Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to today's webinar, um, also by Mediafly. I'm Isabel Papulia, so I'm the VP of Marketing. Um, so once again, welcome. Today we'll be talking about um, how to empower your partner sellers in the moment of truth, uh, five easy steps to increase channel revenue, and we'll talk specifically about sales enablement technology um, and how to enable your indirect sellers through that. Um, so before I turn it over to our speakers for today, uh, just a few housekeeping items. Um, we have 45 minutes scheduled for the webinar. Um, we estimate that about 25 minutes, 30 minutes of that will be the actual presentation and uh, uh, 15 minutes of Q&A, uh, either shorter or longer, depending on how many questions we, we get from you. Uh, in terms of the Q&A, uh, feel free to send your questions through to us via the IM and the chat, and we will be sure to read them um, at the very end of the webinar. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to introduce um, our speakers for today. Jay McBain, uh, Principal Analyst at Forrester. Hello, Jay. Hello there. And Matt Suggs, our uh, very own EVP of Sales um, and Media Fly. Hi, Matt. Hi, how are you doing? Wonderful. So, um, Jay, I am going to turn it over to you, um, and then we'll pivot to Matt later in the presentation. So the floor is yours. All right. Well, thank you so much, and uh, really pleased to be here. Uh, I spend pretty well all of my time studying channels, partnerships, alliances. I look across all 27 industries around the world, large companies, small companies, medium-sized companies, and, uh, you know, try to gather uh, a lot of the commonalities among different industries, but also a lot of the uh, best practices. One thing that we're seeing overwhelmingly uh, as we go into 2019 is not just digital transformation, sales digital transformation uh, is no longer becoming optional. And when you look at 75% of world trade flows indirectly through dealers, partners, retailers, franchisees, all kinds of different channels, it's paramount that um, the last mile is paved to the customer. And a lot of companies are, are realizing that today, that you know, they may have a traditional channel program that focuses on you know, segmenting and finding new partners, onboarding them, educating them, training them, certifying them you know, to be smart. They're trying to incent them in different ways uh, to, to drive the volumes and, and tier it. And a lot of that now plumbing has, has been solidified. What they're seeing is the major opportunity is in the co-selling and co-marketing motions with those partners. And that's really where the growth is driven. Another you know, big thing that's happening in the marketplace, not only is a lot of the different lines of business executives in the B2B space becoming uh, key decision makers and influencers. We're seeing a different buying journey. Uh, but one of the things is that it starts to look a lot like consumer buying. Uh, we know in B2C, you know, for example, if you're buying a car, you spend a lot of time online configuring it, color, you know, picking colors, pricing it, watching YouTube videos. And when you walk into the dealership, you know, you're kind of 60, 70, 80 percent done and you're ready at that point to, uh, to almost transact and, and talk to a person for the first time. In the B2B space, 62% you know, of B2B buyers are now reporting that they're getting you know, to the final criteria or actually choosing vendors or part numbers by the time that they actually get to uh, engaging in sales. So the one thing that they report back to us, and this is not unlike the car buying experience, when you actually get to the dealer, when you get to that final spot, uh, there's just not enough knowledge, there's not enough specialization to make the journey you know, easy and your experience really, really good. You know, If you go to buy a car, a lot of times you, you go back to square one, you have to get the salesperson up to speed in terms of what you've done, and then there's eight hours of them going back and forth with their manager trying to you know, get you out the door. So, that is what they're reporting now on the B2B side, is that there's a little bit of a disconnect from the journey they've been on to the consistency of experience where you know, they want to, um, you know, they want to get to uh, 
close and get to the solution. So, you know, in so doing, they, they want sellers to complement and amplify information that they already acquired. So, you know, don't disrupt the process. If you can support it, if you can build it, if you can be consistent along the way, then the, uh, the buyer's journey and the entire process, you know, becomes more simplified. And, and I'm going to say they'll have more confidence as well in terms of making their buying decision if that support comes and uh, mirrors what they've, uh, what they've been through. So, you know, the other thing is we're not living in a single channel world. You know, I mentioned that 75% of world trade goes through channels of, of all types. But there's omnichannel experiences, regard, you know, almost uh, regardless of the industry. You're, you're working with different digital type of tools. You're working with different influencers, advocates, alliances, and you know, how you build your journey as a buyer. You, know, you might come across you know, dozens of different types of um, uh, things as, as you go across the journey. So they're looking for fluidity across those. So whether you're on a website or you're on social channels or you're, you know, downstream working with a salesperson or a third party agency of some type, they're looking for that branding experience and that uh, messaging and content to flow end to end and not appear that, you know, you're working with Larry driving a white van, you know, at the end of your cycle and not have that connected backwards. And, and brands are getting this now as well. Uh, that being said, 73% of vendors, you know, consider managing partners a challenge. And this goes across, again, all industries. doesn't matter if it's finance, insurance, technology, uh, pharmaceuticals. There are, in the average channel program, again, big and small across all industry, about 90 different components. So along with the customer journey, there's also a partner journey. 